This is TCM, I'm Alicia Malone, and you've joined me just in time to watch a 1940 film adaptation of a classic novel written by Jane Austen. It's Pride and Prejudice. But this script was actually based on the Broadway stage adaptation of the book, which had been written by Helen Jerome. The head of production at MGM, Irving Thalberg, bought the film rights to Jerome's play for his wife, Norma Shearer, to star in, and he paid $50,000 to own it, even though he technically could have had the book for free because it was in the public domain. Thorberg's reasoning was that the play had been successful, so the film might ride on those coattails. But then he saw a stage version of Romeo and Juliet and decided that Norma Shearer should play Juliet instead. Pride and Prejudice was put on the shelf for a little while, and in the meantime, Irving Thalberg passed away. When it was picked up again and approved for filming, Laurence Olivier was the first choice to play the male lead of Mr. Darcy. And of course, Olivier had wanted his girlfriend, the actress Vivian Lee, to star opposite him. But in the end, that role went to Greer Garson. Many different screenwriters worked on adapting the play, with Jane Murphy and Aldous Huxley being the final credited writers. And their version does differ from the book in a few ways. Most notably, the time period was moved forward from the Regency era of the early 1800s to the Victorian era a few decades later. There's been speculation about why that change was made, with one opinion being that it gave the women more flattering and interesting costumes to wear. So, Greer Garson stars as the headstrong Elizabeth Bennet, who lives with her sisters and her parents, and her mother is very interested in marrying off her girls to rich suitors. Laurence Olivier is the arrogant Mr Darcy, and as the sisters, you'll see Maureen O'Sullivan, Anne Rutherford, Heather Angel and Martha Hunt, with Mary Boland and Edmund Gwen as Mr and Mrs Bennet. From 1940, directed by Robert Z. Leonard, enjoy Pride and Prejudice. One fact about this Pride and Prejudice that I enjoyed learning was that during filming, because so many of the cast and crew were English, they stopped shooting at 4pm for a tea break. I'm not sure if Laurence Olivier participated in that, because on this set he was very focused on his plans for the upcoming stage production of Romeo and Juliet, starring himself and Vivian Lee. Olivier was also sure that this film would be a flop, but he was wrong. Pride and Prejudice received great reviews and won an Oscar for its art direction. And director Robert Z. Leonard even received a letter from a fan in London who wrote to him about how nice it was to escape and watch this film while the war was raging. You may perhaps know, she wrote, that this city has suffered badly from air raids, but we still have some cinemas left, and to see a packed audience enjoying Pride and Prejudice so much was most heartening. Okay, from one novel adaptation to another, next on TCM we have the 1949 version of a popular children's book by Frances Hodgson Burnett, starring Margaret O'Brien and Dean Stockwell. Next on TCM, The Secret Garden, then Young Man with a Horn, and later New Orleans. We'll toot our own horn on TCM Tonight. <laughs> 